Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure if you saw this title, you probably were so shook to your core, you clicked on this video because I think probably 99% of the internet will doubt that I can actually go on a low buy. So I'm like really nervous making this video because I don't even know if I really believe in myself at this point because I sure do love to shop and I love to buy makeup and that is not a not a fact that I'm delusional about at all like I know I love to buy makeup I know I love to buy eyeshadow this room is a testament of how much I love to try out different makeup items and different formulas and things like that but over the course of 2019 I have definitely managed to overbuy and just completely overwhelm myself when it comes to makeup. And it's definitely hard to admit because I do love makeup and I don't want to feel guilty about buying it, but I think it is going to be better for me and for my channel and for you guys if I try and cut down. So I am going on a product specific low buy. And I, it was so funny because I kind of talked about it in a get ready with me and I had mentioned like I had started making these ideas and rules for myself and then Kelly Gooch did a video and basically outlined my entire low buy for me and it was really great because I know she's had a lot of experience with reducing the amount of things she consumes so it was really nice to see her video and how she kind of structured things and it gave me a few ideas because I wanted to do it like for a whole year but then she kind of said she was going to see in the first six months of the year and I was like you know what that's a great thing to not restrain myself with is a timeline because a year can seem so overwhelming a lot can happen in a year a lot can change in a year so I was thinking like maybe I should just do two months at a time so I think my low buy is just like two months at a time and then two months from now so at the end of February start of March I'll kind of see where I'm at. I definitely want to do a makeup inventory. It definitely freaks me out because I feel like if I start counting how many things I have, it's going to like really freak me out. But it's definitely something I'm going to do when I have a little bit of time to myself and I can just slowly start assessing what I have. I've also started like in December when I had a little bit of time off, I was able to kind of go through and just you know how like when you see things in your collection, you kind of in your head start going like, I need to get rid of that, I need to get rid of that. So I did start kind of pulling eyeshadow palettes. I filmed a declutter video for highlighters as well as liquid lipsticks, as well as just like lipsticks in general in the month of December for Vlogmas. I still have to do my other face products, my foundations, bunches and bunches of things and content that I need to get done and filmed and things like that. So. A ton of that already kind of in the works half done you know it's gonna be a lengthy process but I definitely definitely have intentions to get all of that accomplished as well so if you like declutter videos those are definitely gonna keep coming on my channel I definitely want to redo my eyeshadow palette collection video and then another huge goal I have for 2020 is to use each of my eyeshadow palettes for approximately a week so at least do like five eyeshadow looks with each palette and then kind of decide like Mari Kondo my eyeshadow palette collection and be like does this palette really bring you joy or are you just hanging on to it or was it something you love because you used it one time and you did an amazing eye look but will you you know use this multiple times can you come up with different eyeshadow looks so I have kind of all that content planned in my head I would love to start doing things like shop my stash but I've never done that series on my channel so I'm not sure if that's going to be something I'm going to do, but I definitely will continue to do my try and buy series. I've only done two videos so far. One was the intro and then I filmed with the Natasha Denona Star palette. So I have still a few more videos that I need to do with those palettes as well. So I've got a lot of unfinished business to take care of in that realm. And then I just sat and did what Kelly Gooch said she was going to do which is go on a product specific low buy, no buy type situation. A lot of the products in my list are things I'm just not going to buy because I just have too much and that's okay. I can admit that to myself. 
and I don't need to keep buying it. So um, for eyeshadow palettes, the rule I kind of laid down for myself is four eyeshadow palettes a month. And I think that's pretty good because I know four sounds like a lot. I mean, some people bought four eyeshadow palettes this, this past year. So four definitely can be a lot. Four for me is not a lot at all. I think four is a very realistic amount for me because that means it's one palette a week or for example, if something like this comes out in 2020, then I would just buy these four palettes and then I wouldn't be able to buy anything else as far as palettes go in that month. So it's definitely not gonna be easy. I'm a little bit freaked out in the month of January so far I've purchased one palette. I did pick up the Pat McGrath palette, which in hindsight, I'm like, why did I buy that one? Because Pat McGrath is being kind of shady right now, but I was like kind of excited for it, so I bought it. So I have three more palettes I can buy this month, and I feel like January is pretty easy because there's not a whole lot of stuff coming out or that's been announced yet, but I'm really scared for when, you know, makeup launches really amp up. But I need to set a limit because what I did a lot last year was buy palettes that I was only able to do a first impression on. I wasn't able to come back and review palettes for you guys, which I'm not like mad, mad at myself about it. But if you really think about it, I make about average, roughly under $100 on my YouTube channel a month. So it's not really realistic for me to keep buying and over buying palettes and then not even getting, you know, my return on investment on what I'm buying. Not that it's all about that, but I'm buying like in excess of $100. Like I'm spending about $500 a month on makeup. So it's getting a little bit out of control. Like I have other priorities, you know, eventually me and my husband are going to try and have a baby. So like I really need to get my shit together. I live my life like I'm still like 22 and single and like, okay, not single, but you know, 22 and carefree. And that's not really my life. Like I'm an adult. I'm 31 years old. We have a house, car payments, things like that. Like I really need to like refocus myself and try and find some balance. So that's what I'm trying to do in 2020. I hope you guys can understand. I hope you guys can relate to what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get you guys to feel sorry for me or anything. It's just that like I need to take control of my spending habits. So I think four is realistic. Let's see how it goes. I will try and be as honest and open with myself as well as you guys as possible. If I end up going over the four, please don't like kill me. <laughs> So basically January, February, and then we'll reassess at the end of February, start of March. And I'm just going to do baby steps, baby steps. So some of the things I put on my basically no buy list because it's a low buy for the eyeshadows and then pretty much a no buy on everything else because I have so many backups. Like when I start doing my inventory, I just know I'm going to see how much I have and it's already freaking me out. But my goal is like no single eyeshadows unless there is like some collab with some of my friends. Like if Angelica comes out with something or Amy or any Annette, like all of those cool people that I know, if they do any kind of collab, I will support if it's like single eyeshadows. But as far as like me seeing like eyeshadows, I'm not gonna buy single eyeshadows in the next two months and especially if it's just like ColourPop coming out with something or something like that. I really, really, really wanna do a single eyeshadow declutter as well, that's another goal. I wanna film it on my dining table so I can like spread everything out and I just haven't carved out the time to do that yet with everything like the holidays and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that is a goal. So no single eyeshadows, no foundations, no concealers, no mascara, no eyeliner, no liquid lipsticks, no lip gloss, no lip balm, no bullet lipsticks, no highlighter, no bronzer, no blush, no brow gel, no cream products, no makeup brushes, no color pop, no BH, no KKW, no Charlotte Tilbury. And that's kind of my list because I tried to hit every category and honestly, it's only been a couple of days into the year and it's already helping me stay accountable because I'll start like putting things in a cart or I'll see something on Trend Mood and rush to a website and then I'm like, this is blush. This is not something you're supposed to be buying. So why are you even 
pretending you can buy it and that's really helped me out another thing is just kind of really thinking about my purchases I have a pile of palettes back there because I shopped in December. I got a lot of my Black Friday orders a little bit late because a lot of the stuff I ordered was pre-order. So like my Divina Sugar Drops just came and two palettes I ordered from Menagerie just came and then I just got the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette in PR. So I have a lot of stuff to play with and catch up with and I'm okay. I'm gonna be just fine. And so, yeah, having the list on my computer has really helped me. And then I really want to do a clothing no-buy as well because I am, like, obsessed with sweaters and I have tons of clothes. Like, my closet is jam-packed. So I did do a list for clothes. So I did no t-shirts, no jeans, no pants, no sweaters, no socks, no boots, no sandals, no heels, no swimsuits, no shorts, no household decor, and declutter as much as possible. So that's gonna be my main focus for the next two months. I did kind of already break my no, I didn't put no sweaters. Oh, I did put no sweaters. I did kind of break the sweater thing because I saw two really cute sweaters on this boutique I love to shop from. And I told myself those were the last two and after that I'm done because I just don't even have the time and like cost per wear to justify to continue buy sweaters because with my job I dress pretty casual and then me and my husband we don't really go out too much so I don't really need a lot of really nice sweaters and things like that. I suppose I do like to wear sweaters on my channel when I film but really things like jeans and stuff I have you know, plenty of jeans and I want to do kind of what Anna Louise Poston talks about in her channel and her no buys and low buys that she's done over the last few years is just like wearing something until it's it can't be worn anymore. I'm one of those people that I'll start buying like backup, especially with clothing that, you know, it's like, oh, um, I've worn that so much and oh those jeans that I love are on sale so I should just grab a few more just so I can have like backups in case the ones I've been wearing something happens and I've kind of come to the conclusion that I need to I need to just buy what I need when I need it instead of buying it in advance like that is not healthy especially for clothing and then the last few weeks when I've had free time, I did go through my clothes and just really think about like, did I wear this last summer? Did I wear this last winter? Does this still fit? And I've decluttered about four garbage bags full of clothes. So I just put those in a tote because I'm gonna wait until my mom comes and visits and have her go through them, see if she wants any of those items. And then I'm gonna put them all on like Poshmark or get rid of them at a garage sale or do something like that. And recycle all of those items so I feel pretty good about myself I think that I definitely need this I need to be more aware of my spending where my money is going what I'm buying and of course I think I just owe it to you guys that when I pick something up I do a full review and do multiple eye looks like if it gets boring for you guys like I'm okay with it because I just can't keep buying new eyeshadow palettes to, you know, hoping that it'll bring people to my channel. Like, that's not realistic. So I'm just going to do the best I can with what I can afford to buy. And I'm very, very excited about it. The other thing is, realistically, most people enjoy watching me talk about makeup versus applying makeup. I have really enjoyed doing eyeshadow looks for you guys the last year. If you look at my channel and the history of my channel, I haven't always been in to get ready with me's. They kind of actually freaked me out and freaked me out for the longest time because I didn't think like I was very good at eyeshadow or that like anybody would want to watch me do makeup. But you know what? over 2018 and 2019 I got really comfortable doing get ready with me's and even just like adding a little eyeshadow look in a video like if I was doing a swatch party um and it makes me happy so I am gonna do them but I want to do more than just a swatch party one eye look and a first impression I want to be able to you know, test these out, do a few different looks, and also provide a review. And I feel like the best way to do that is to reduce the amount of 
eyeshadow palettes I buy. The other thing is I would love to know you guys' thoughts. Like if there is a launch coming out, let me know if you want me to pick it up because the other big rule in my low buy is that if I don't buy it on launch day, I'm not going to buy it at all. And I think that's a good one because I was inspired to add that by Annette's Makeup Corner because I do that a lot where I'll not buy something and then I'll buy it later on and it's cute and it's beautiful but realistically nobody's gonna watch a video about it or it's not gonna get as many views as something that's a little bit newer so I know that sounds really I don't know maybe if you're not a youtuber it sounds like it doesn't make sense but if you're a youtuber and you're trying to grow your channel or you want people to watch your videos it kind of makes sense so hopefully you guys can try and put yourselves in my shoes where it doesn't always pay off for me to buy something that's been out for you know a couple of months or even a couple of years and I really really need to kind of lay down the law with that for myself because I'm definitely one of those people that'll go back and buy something after a couple of months of something being launched and then it just sits on my shelf because I don't have time to go back to it. So those are kind of my rules. As far as PR, I don't get a ton of PR. So I think that amount is totally manageable for me. I am so grateful whenever I can get something um, as far as part of PR because usually it's something new that I can feature on my channel and it helps bring people to my channel. So I don't really have a huge problem with too much PR. It's not something that I'm concerned about. I don't think it's going to hamper me in any way. So I am very, very excited to see how this little project of mine pans out. I, you know, I feel like Many of you are gonna doubt me and that's okay. I doubt myself most of the time with not buying stuff because it's very, very hard for me. But I feel like at least I tried. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like at least I tried. If I completely fail, at least I tried and I will learn something about myself. And yeah, I feel very, very motivated to reduce my consumption. So that is what I am going to do in 2020. Let me know some of your guys' goals down in the comment section. I guess I should maybe say like personal goals. I don't know. People keep asking me what my New Year's resolutions are. I feel like I'm for the most part very happy with how my life is going. And the only thing I really, really, really feel the need to work on is reducing how much makeup I buy and I told my mom this and she's like oh that's that's hopeful or I don't know what she said she's really funny um but <laughs> but she's like always trying to get me to spend less money on makeup because she doesn't quite get it but that's okay you know um to each their own <laughs> the other huge benefit I see in spending less on makeup is that I will have more disposable income to spend on other things like you know, going out to dinner with my friends and buying nice things for my husband because he's always so good at like spoiling me with nice gifts and stuff like that. So I want to be able to spend money on him and I would love for us to just have more experiences together. So for example, we, I want to be able to maybe take a trip next year or this year, 2020 over the holidays. I would love for us to both be able to fly to Sri Lanka, which is where I'm from. I still haven't been to South Africa. So we have a lot of like travel goals that we really need to accomplish, especially before we kind of settle down and like start a family or whatever. And yeah, just a few things that I would really, really like to save towards and, you know, pay off some bills, a few cards here and there that I should do. And I would love for us to be able to buy a bigger house in the next couple of years, I think that's a huge goal of ours because I feel like we're going to slowly outgrow this place and especially if we have kids, like one of us is going to have to give up an office and yeah, that's going to be hard. <laughs> so hopefully we can um, get into a bigger space. That's probably not a 2020 goal. That's probably more like a 2024, 20, 25 kind of goal, but it's never too soon to start planning and aspiring and putting those vibes out there, putting them out into the world and manifesting your goals. So yeah, that's everything I had to say. Please leave your comments down in the comment section and please send me positive vibes and 
yeah, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, this was not meant to be like me complaining or anything like that. I just wanted to make this video and have you guys cross your fingers and I'm just like crossing all my fingers and just hoping for success as far as this project goes. So I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye.